Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to discuss internal forces and to introduce axial shear and bending. So that's an ax axial force, shear force and bending moment. Uh, we'll start off by having a look at internal forces. So this topic is going to be pretty much all about internal forces and the way we uh, resolve internal forces uh, when we're given our external forces. So internal forces represent and explain what is happening inside of a member. So uh, external forces are transferred through, uh, through members via internal forces. So we'll just have a quick discussion on what these uh, two statements mean. So basically uh, what happens uh, when we uh, build a structure or a machine or something like that is that uh, it's made up of individual members and basically we load these members uh, externally. So uh, if we have a beam that looks like this, um, we might place a weight here and here. These are external forces. Um, this thing is going to be supported, sort of this might be supported you know, here and here. Um, and we know that uh, these supports are going to uh, provide reactions uh, to put this into equilibrium. So we're assuming it's not moving. Um, and as a result, the way that uh, these forces are moved into the supports are via uh, internal forces in the beam. So what that means is that uh, you load something externally and then uh, the material composition of the member uh, experiences a range of axial shear and bending um, stresses which are then transferred um, into loads. Uh, we'll be doing we'll be doing so lots of examples where we uh, deal with uh, 